We have 400 people stranded on an island, one last plane out with 180 seats. How do we build a system that can fairly allocate 180 seats to 400 people trying to book the flight? So I built a system that can handle this chaos using temporal, and I'm going to simulate 400 booking requests in two seconds, and I'm going to crash the back end mid booking, and then you'll see it recover and see that all the seats are assigned fairly. And at the end, I'll explain how it works as well. Okay, here is the flight status. We have 180 available seats. No one has booked anything yet. So let me kick off my load test that will run 400. Uh, users to book flights. Kick that off and we'll see the UI here updating uh, with all the people booking flights. Okay, it's now booking. All right, so now let me crash my server. Halfway through, we're about, about halfway through. Let's crash my app, see what happens. Okay, hit stop here. And the UI is freaking out, right? Because uh, it can't reach the back end. But let's see what happens when I hit start again. Okay, it should come up, hit refresh. As you can see, I'm still having booking requests come in. And it should have saved all of the state. Shouldn't have lost any requests. And yes, I am right. So we have 180 that are booked and 220. Those two numbers added together obviously is 400. So that's how many requests my load test sent in. So even by crashing halfway through, Temporal still saves all the state and it's still uh, treated everyone fairly. First come, first serve can, uh, you know, first ones will get booked and then the other ones will uh, be rejected here. So 220 got rejected. All right, so how does it work? I'm gonna explain a little bit. Uh, so we have here the client on the left, 400 of them are trying to book this flight through the post endpoint by their user ID to the airplane booking API, which is my application to book their seat. And then we have two temporal workflows behind the scenes that does all the heavy lifting and you know logic for us. So we have a seat manager workflow, which is a parent workflow, and there's only one of these per flight. So this manages all the available seats for the flight, confirms seats, handles the booking requests queue, and manages all the failed booking requests as well. So it's big state management that uh, is handled inside this workflow. So there's only one of these per flight and my application right now just creates one of these right when it starts up. The booking workflow here on the right is a child workflow and this starts up when a user actually gets a seat confirmed. So we have a booking request queue over here. If they're early enough to get into the queue and there is an available seat, they'll get booked. And then this starts a database save activity. So I, I save out to DynamoDB to actually save what seat and user ID got confirmed there. So there's one of these per flight on the left and there's 180 of these because it's one seat booked here uh, on the flight. So you'll have a parent here and a child workflow. So that is how I'm able to manage this whole application in the back end. So I'll show you a flow diagram now of how it actually works. All right, so this is a little more granular. So we have a client here, post over to the booking controller, which is my API, and then a request to book goes to the seat manager workflow. Remember that's over here, the seat manager workflow. That's that long living one workflow per flight has all the seats. And then right as I request that, I just return 200 back saying, hey, we got your request. We're not officially booking you yet, but we got your request to book. Then it goes and adds it to the booking request queue. So I have a queue that basically is adding all of the requests that come in. And then one at a time, I pull from that queue and I see if a seat is available or not. So this is all handled inside the seat manager workflow. It's single threaded, so it's sequential, goes through, don't have to worry about concurrency uh, because inside a temporal workflow, it's all uh, you know, single threaded, don't have to worry about uh, concurrent or race conditions happening. So a seat, if a seat is available, then I create a booking workflow, which is that child workflow, which then goes and saves it to the database and it's confirmed. However, if a seat is not available, then I add it to a data structure to keep track of the failed bookings by user ID and say that no seats are available. So that is the basic flow behind the scenes. I have all the code there as well. I probably won't show the code here because it's a little boring on the video, uh, but you can check it out in GitHub and let me know if you want me to do an actual code walkthrough. 
I can do that. Anyways, that is mostly it for the application. So I hope you enjoyed that demo. I tried to spice it up with a little you know, storyline behind it. I thought it was really fun to build as well. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks.